Audacity has been the go-to recording and editing software for voiceover artists, audiobook narrators, and podcast producers for, what, nearly 25 years. Despite major improvements over the years, it's still incredibly free to download and use. So here are our top 10 tips to help you be more efficient with this fantastic free software. One, first switch the interface to dark mode. It's much easier on the eyes and makes editing waveforms clearer and much more comfortable. Two, don't let the default cluttered screen overwhelm you. Simplify it by removing anything that you don't need. Unless you're working on music, the time signature toolbar, gone. The snapping toolbar, gone. And the share audio toolbar, gone. You don't need these things now. You can focus on what really matters without distractions. Three, make the timecode monitor larger and stretch out the input and output meters. Or as we like to say, let the dog see the rabbit. Four, in the settings for the input and output meters, change the default from linear to decibels. It's much more useful for voiceover artists, narrators, and podcast producers. Five, now that you've changed the meters to decibels, set your input levels to peak between minus 12 and minus 18 dB. This gives you enough headroom for processing later in editing, and this helps to prevent distortion. Six, change your recording settings to mono instead of stereo. You only have one mouth after all. It saves file space, avoids phase issues, and makes mono waveforms easier to edit. Plus, you can always add and mix stereo music later without any problem. Seven, use keyboard shortcuts. Customize Audacity's rather clumsy built-in default shortcuts to single letters easier for you to remember. And this will save you loads of time, like S for silence, or A for amplify, or N for normalize, C for compressor. Eight, speaking of compression, don't reinvent the wheel. Audacity offers some great presets. The podcast radio preset works perfectly for balancing levels in general narration. For punchy radio ads or online spots, try the vocal control setting. You can always tweak these presets if you like, and you can save them as your own custom settings. Nine, don't get confused by how Audacity saves files. If you only save the project file and send the .aup3 to your client, they won't be able to hear your recording, uh, even if they manage to open it. Always export your audio as a 24-bit WAV or a smaller MP3. Never send the project file. 10. Our final tip might just save you the most time. Learn from experienced users instead of struggling on your own. At VoiceOver Masterclass, we've put together a series of videos to guide you from a confused beginner to a confident pro using Audacity. We've done all the hard work so you don't have to. Just click the link around this video and follow our step-by-step -step tutorials. From downloading and installing Audacity, setting it up with your microphone and computer, to creating high-quality recordings that pass ACX audiobook standards and make your voiceover clients happy. We'll cover everything from recording and editing radio ads and showreels to mixing music and sound effects while highlighting Audacity's most useful features. You'll be mastering the software in no time and all at your own pace. So click the link now. We look forward to helping you with our videos.